It's mid-July and the weather isn't the only thing that's heating up this week. I'm Sonia Straface and welcome to the Healthy Fleet Challenge Report. The Healthy Fleet competition started on July 1st with the goal of walking 25,000 miles, enough to circle the earth once, in the month of July and the finish line may come closer than expected. With some friendly competition between 29 teams in the trucking industry, a total of 200 participants have walked more than 20,700 miles in only 21 days. The leaderboard has fluctuated all week, but let's have a look to see who's on top after three weeks of moving and shaking. In first place for the third week in a row is Coastal Pacific Express. The team of 14 has averaged an impressive 12,573 steps in the last week. Regaining their second place position is Prime Inc, who was in third last week. Prime's team of 10 has averaged 11,589 steps in the last seven days. Making their first appearance in the top five is Bison Transport. Bison has walked an average of 9,635 steps in the last seven days between its 21 team members. Keeping their position in fourth is Myers Transport, who has logged an average of 9,392 steps this week. Rounding out the top five is TST Truckload Express. Its team of seven has walked an average of 8,984 steps in the last seven days. Next up is our fitness tip. To improve your lower body strength and get more steps throughout your day, squats should be a part of your exercise routine. Editorial director Luce Merlis and I spoke with fitness trainer Melody Champion and Healthy Fleet Challenge representative Glenn Caldwell on how to do them properly. Squats, not everyone's favorite exercise. Melody, tell us why we should be doing it anyway. Squats really promote strength in the lower body. We also need to improve our cardiovascular health in our lower body because we're sitting all day long in the truck, in the office. And uh, if we have poor cardiovascular health, we're gonna have all sorts of other health problems. Yeah, it's a very sedentary lifestyle that tr truckers as well as office staff live. Uh, uh, there are cardiologists that suggest that there's something called sitting disease now that if mm. we sit for long periods of time, we have the same risk of heart attack or stroke as somebody that smokes. So getting up and getting moving more, that's kind of key. Mm -hmm. All right, so show us a, a proper squat uh, position right. and then we can get into some of the modifications Absolutely. Uh, for people who can't do that. Okay, so uh, Glenn, if you want to demonstrate, proper squat is you're pretty much sitting back into a chair. Your legs are going to be just slightly more than hip width apart, or hip width apart and uh, lower your body down. A little bit back more. Yeah, our tendency is to lean forward. You want to keep your body upright. <laughs> upright and lower down as if you're sitting back into a chair. Perfect. And a little back still. That's better. So once you've mastered the squat, what, can, what are some things that you can do to make it a little tougher? So what you can do is add a resistance band, just to add a little bit of resistance. And uh, you put your foot in each loop of this, and you perform the squat, and then with a kick out. So that's also increasing the uh, amount of uh, muscles that you're using to perform the exercise. So you go down into the squat, and as you raise, you raise your leg and alternate. So how many repetitions should we be doing for this exercise? We should be, be performing about three sets of 12 reps, and that works out to about six uh, kickouts on each side. Oh, it's 12. Okay, so what can we do for the extreme athlete who has mastered both of those? What can we do next? Yeah. So to increase uh, the intensity once more, you can add a kettlebell, which uh, again, doesn't take up a lot of space if you have to travel with this. I know people keep it in uh, behind their seats in their trucks. So this one is 10 pounds. You can go up to about 50 pounds even as you increase your strength. So Glenn, you wanna give that a try? Sure. You can do this with or without the kick out. And what about if someone doesn't have a kettlebell? What can they use instead? You can use anything that weighs around five to 10 pounds. Uh, you can carry a water jug. Um, you can have a chain even around your shoulders and squat with that. Anything that has some weight to it. And again, how many reps? Would it be still six to 12? Yeah, again, uh, three sets of about six to 12 reps. Stay tuned to TMTV and trucknews.com for more fitness tips and the latest on the Healthy Fleet Challenge.